Hey, what's up? Go to tpublic.com, user mo diggity, and check out all my merch. I got all sorts of stuff you'll like. Also, go to fadegrips.store and put promo code mo diggity in to save 15% off your total purchases. Oh, yeah. Are you having a dog up? walked up to the lemonade stand and he said to the man, Shut the, the fuck stand, up. Hey, Shut the up. up. Shut up. <laughs> what about? There oh, we go. Geez. There, I, I, I can hear you. CJ! Hey! hey! Okay, okay, okay. The most anyone's <laughs> been excited to hear CJ. Can't hear CJ. Now recording. Thank you, Robin. It's no problem. Thanks for being in my head. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let me go ahead and do the intro. And a one, a two, a skiddly diddly do. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I am your host, Mo Diggity. Today, joining us amid a myriad of connectivity issues and audio issues is Cripple Jesus. Say what's up. Hey, Mo, what's going on, buddy? Oh, yeah, uh, Robin, of course, my lovely co-host. What's up, everyone? All right, uh, Joey is going to go make food, so fuck him. Uh, uh, we have my we have my good buddy Josh, die GB in 1791. What are you doing? What are you doing now? And, of course, we have Riley, the other co-host. Say what's up, Riley. Hey, what's up? I'm not gonna sing Mariah Carey this yeah. time. I won't subject to it. Yeah, again. thank you, thank you for being so merciful, oh good lord. Anyway, uh, just just wait until the end of the show. Wink, wink. Yeah, that'll be cut. I I I'll let you know right here and now. <laughs> anyway, so uh, so Thanksgiving was upon us, and it came and went, and did a number to my asshole. Uh, my God, I've ate so much turkey. I think I'm sick of fucking turkey, and I don't want to see another goddamn ham or pumpkin or cherry pie as for as long as I live, at least for another four months. But Christmas is my coming, mom, so yeah. My mom made her chicken pot pie for Thanksgiving, and it was fantastic. That sounds so fucking good. I love chicken pot pie. I also want to remind the audience that this podcast is sponsored by Hostess Donuts. And that's what I'm eating. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. I didn't know that we were being hosted by Hostess or uh, being sponsored by Hostess, but. Uh... <laughs> hosted oh. by Hostess. Shut up. All right. Shut up. <laughs> I just. You want to host the show? You do it. Yeah, right? shut up. <laughs> anyway, goddamn you all. How was your. Fucking Thanksgiving. Cripple, we'll start with you. Um, my Thanksgiving was pretty uneventful. My grandma dressed up like the parade clown. She was the parade clown for the year. That was pretty much it. Could you repeat that one more time? Did you say pre-clown? Parade. Parade. Oh, parade clown. Oh, okay. Fuck parade me. Parade clown. Yeah. Alright, so so you're okay, so the clown part was actually in the explanation then. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. What uh what possessed her to do such a thing? Well, she's been working for the bank because she's uh written her name in triple parentheses for a while now. And uh the bank is the sponsor of the art van Detroit Thanksgiving parade, and she always is involved in it. Oh, okay. At and she was a parade clown this year. Well, does she do cartwheels or other weird shit, or does she just sit in the van as? A I ride? actually did not watch the. Um, I didn't watch the um, parade because I swept in. What a supportive and, uh, grandson. Oh, I, I did wake up with the Red Bull, and then I thought about that she was on the parade when I was drinking Red Bull. So, you know. It's like, I can drink this Red Bull and go watch my grandmother downtown, or I could just fall asleep and drink the Red Bull later 
and just dick around playing video games or watch YouTube or something. So you will... Then I, uh, I actually hooked up my PlayStation 2, and I turned on... I have um, the first Family Guy game. Oh, cool. I turned that on, and I played it. It's, all right. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Well, at least you did something, you know, you didn't fuck around too much. No one really yelled at you or anything like that. No one called you a fucker. Because, like, I, I've been no. seeing it over an abu- uh, overabundance of, uh, of, I hate my family. I fucking hate Thanksgiving. Blah, blah. Fucking stories this fucking year. I don't know what it is. Maybe people are just born. I have a lot of those. For Christmas, I don't know if we're gonna get to Christmas at some point. Oh, oh well, we we can get to Christmas. Hell, if you want to tell a story right now, you can go right ahead if you like. All right. So, and to start out the story, my I just start out by saying that my dad's side of the family is dysfunctional. My dad, and to put that in perspective for all the listeners here. My dad is a meth head, and he's the most tolerable of all his family members. Oh, God. Oh, uh, Jesus. Yeah. Um, I, um, every year, my aunt has to shock the dinner table with her theories on 9-11 and uh, how uh, <laughs> Osama... How Osama had George W. on speed dial, and they fucking just tag team their way through the world. Guys, trade here's, here's what happened. <laughs> Everyone. And then eventually, I show I show up an hour late, and I, there, you know, people always park in the driveway because they uh, don't think that a crippled guy can't get through five inches of snow, so of course I'm coming in the small ass house with the shitty china and the dirty rug and I my wheels are wet because I've been I've just been entrenched in five feet of snow and then everybody asks me how I'm doing and then eventually we get to the annual conversation where Grandma asks me, why can't I date a white girl? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, oh my God. then uh, that time we usually get to the, uh, the salty, the salty cucumber sandwiches, which I actually do like. It's probably my favorite part of the event. And then we get to the part where we eat dinner. And then after my um, after my Uncle Tom's prayer, that's the same. It's the same prayer every year, but it doesn't get any shorter. It's still two hours long. After that prayer, we sit down and we eat cold turkey that's over salted <laughs> then after that we we get up off the table and uh every all the fatties in the family go to the hors d'oeuvre table and you know my dad is there and he's a meth head so he's gotta hike up his pants every Two seconds, and he, but he's still at the hors d'oeuvre table because even though he looks like a fashion model, he can eat like a fatty. Well, yeah, because he's always doing fucking meth. He can't fucking. He probably doesn't eat because he's always on meth. Yeah, um, he's basically homeless. So if you're listening to this on a street corner, Dad, I just want you to know, uh, you were pretty all right. It sounds like you have... Is your father an avid listener of the Mopeds? I think, I think somehow I would like to think through his uh, meth-addled brain he can hear me in the back of it. So you sort of... Well, that's depressing. You saying... <laughs> the meth gave him superpowers to hear you talking on podcasts? It sounds... I'm... Oh, go ahead. 
sort of like it's sort of like Justice League. You know how like one of them can like sense that they the other one needs help. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, it's so like yeah. you know, kind of like your spider sense, except it's your meth head dad sense. The meth sense. What happens is it just Leonard Skinner starts playing in his head and he's like, ah, I need to go talk to my son. It's, but um, at that point, I'll see him over there and he'll just say, hey, buddy, and then he will do the small talk, you know, how is the weather? And then he'll try to ask me for money and pretend <laughs> I like, heard he won some poker games, boy. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while, but... It's been a while? Uh, yeah, I'm not doing the best at poker at the moment. I, I tell you, I've been having a whole week of bad beats pretty much. So in the last... Oh, man. In the last two days, I got a straight, and my straight was beaten out both times. Damn, that's fucked. That is, uh, it's very unlucky, but I, when my dad will ask me for money, he'll say, uh, you know, you should really do it for your grandma, and then he tries to bring my grandma into it and to guilting him to giving him $40 so he can snort it up his nose, but I never give it to him. And that is a... Dollars? That's like a tiny rock. What the hell? Huh? He's got to go a little bigger than $40. You got to go, son, give me $100. Give me $100. Only if I have... I am half the reason you exist. Give me money. It sounds like you yeah. have Frank from Shameless as a dad. Oh, is that is that a show? Oh, I, yeah. It's a, uh, uh, it's a show with... Uh, I forgot his fucking name. But he's a really great actor. He's been in a bunch of movies. Uh, Willie, William, William H. H. Macy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, he's a fucking fantastic actor. And uh, he plays this real fucking scumbag. Like, basically everything your dad is and that you were just talking about, that's pretty much this guy, Frank. And he's a great character, but, you know, it's just a... He is a piece of shit. Well, you know what they say about our... Our imitates reality, which reminds me, I'm eating these delightful little bits of artwork known as Hostess Donuts. <laughs> wow, where can we purchase Hostess Donuts? Yes, tell us, Cripple. <laughs> um, I just bought some at the local Meyer. The, the, really? J just, just right there? I, I have one. It's that easy? Hey, I have one right up the road. <laughs> So you mean yeah, it's you that can. simple to get myself some nice, tasty Hostess Donuts? That's crazy! Holy fucking shit! You can go to the same aisle and get you a nice glass of milk to go with it. And... You know, at my local gas station, they're only 50 cents. Uh, you know, like there's... Whoa! Oh, wow, man. Oh, man, I had to go get me some of these hostess um, fucking... That's such a bargain! I had to get me some of these tasty yeah, it's treats. Great. It's a great product, and uh, I am honored to be sponsored by Hostess Donuts. Whoa. Hostess Donuts. Enjoy, fatty. <laughs> Enjoy, you fucking piece <laughs> of shit. I, I goddamn oh, will. Man. I'm fat and I'm proud. I'm going to die of diabetes in two years and I'm proud. Oh, man. You know what would be the greatest fucking thing? If we can lobby Congress to allow like people like Hostess, you know, uh, Cripple Jesus is sponsor. Uh, <clears throat> if they if they could just, like, <laughs> if they're allowed to uh, let them be allowed to put, like, derogatory mean-spirited fucking text on things. Like, eat this, you fat fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Or like, hey, <laughs> hey, fourth one, huh? You know, like, hey, uh, you were going to go get something good to eat, or how's that diet going, fatty? You know, dude, <laughs> I, I, I bet you that would probably help, like, drastically uh, help this country lose fucking weight and quick. I mean, there would be a lot of fucking people fucking sobbing in the goddamn streets, but there'll be, st but a lot of them will be stuffing their fucking faces with Hostess and other junk food. So, like, can you really feel bad for them? Well, I don't mean to. I don't mean to say anything about my great sponsor, Hostess here, 
But I think they do a pretty good job of detouring people from their products already. I mean, hey, you want these whole fucking bags of ding dongs? You queer? <laughs> Of course, I mean they're called ding dongs, you know. What, like who? Yeah, who? Who greenlit that idea? Let's call them ding dongs. Yeah, put ding dongs in your mouth. Ew. They're like no. Then after you, then after you, a whole pack of ding dongs and big fat failure, you can wash it down with some snowballs on your shirt. Oh man, snowballs are both delicious and shitty at the same time, because. I, Fuck you, snowballs are the best. I, I kind of love them, but like after like midway through the first one, I'm like, I fucking hate this goddamn thing. Can the coconut just please stop bitch slapping the roof of my fucking mouth, please? You know, I'm just like, I'm trying to eat it. It like it becomes a chore sometimes to eat a snowball. It's really good, but it's a goddamn chore. I'll just take some honey buns. Honey buns are fucking delicious. You know, I guess the reason why they call them ding dongs because they already have something called Twinkie. So I guess you can't like. Well, they they should just call them chocolate ding dongs, or just dings, because it's only mildly Isn't su- Hosties... suggestive. Don't Hosties make the Twinkies? Aren't Hosties yes. the Twinkies? Yeah. I think the I think the goal is just to name their tasty products but with penis metaphors. Oh, man. Dude. Didn't Hosties go out of business for like a year uh, once? Yeah, and it, it, it didn't so much go Yeah, up. but then they then they re-resurrected. Well, they, they were in the middle of a strike. The, their union was renegotiating, trying to renegotiate terms because they got paid sort of shitty. And Hostess, uh, the the company, we want more ding dong. Yeah, and, and well, dude, <laughs> it, it, it shut down. It like it, it shut down production of Twinkies hard, and America was like, dude, it, that was the quickest I've ever seen Americans back a union, where, where the fucking people that make Twinkies and Ho Hos and Ding Dongs and shit like that, they fucking said, dude, give the fucking money. I want my Twinkie and I want it now. And you want me to tell you how that conversation went? I think I can. I'm not the best in freshness, but I think I got something. Sure. Because you know, I I do wrote. I do. Uh, I am privy God. to all the marketing campaigns at Hostess. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, the conversation went just like this. Yeah, see, you unions better get back work and be better be in the factory. Yeah, and then they're like, yeah, no, see? no, we want more money, Mister Hostess. And the hostess goes, yeah, take a ding dong right in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> God, you 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 know what? Did you do all that just so you can end on a ding dong joke? Uh, all right, at least you get put. Oh, I'll accept my award. All right, all right, good. Moment. All right, I don't need I've got it right here, actually. I just need your address later on. Just DM me at the back of my channel, and you know, I'll get it to you. Will do. All right, so, uh, CJ, unless you have other any other holiday festive, uh, festive stories to tell, uh, oh. well, I say that, um, I brought up the Christmas story because I'm going back to Christmas. Not because I like that side of the family, but because I need money. Oh, no shit. So, yeah, I actually plan on going to uh, Soaring Eagle Casino up in the Upper Peninsula, and I'm going to play some poker right after Christmas. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about you needing money for poker, but I didn't think that was actually where that was going. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, all right. Uh, so, Robin, do you have uh, any tales of your Thanksgiving break? Since we didn't do anything last week. Uh, uh, to anyone who's listening, uh, we were going to do shit last week, but we are like... I don't want to do anything. I'm so tired, and there's so many people around us. I fucking hate everything. Let's just do it next week. Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was yeah. I just had well, no part of it. Quite frankly, no part. Of it. You know, I thought about I thought about going uh, ice skating, but then I just looked down at my legs. 
Well, you could have, like, skated on your knees. <laughs> Dude, that would be kind of funny if you could just, like, get on all fours like a dog and ice skate like that. Would you do that if you could? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. Because then if I look like a dog on a... If I look like a dog on a sled, the white girls might try to invade me and I won't be able to make it in the house. Oh, uh, well, yeah, you have you have that, I guess, to contend with. If you think that's a bad thing... And there's like a million alinities who are just going to start like trying to shove their crotches into your face. In fact, well, I think I'm I might not try to do that. Favor of, I'm not in favor of bestiality. That's why I don't like bad shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Robin, do you have any story? How was your Thanksgiving? Uh, it was okay. Uh, I mean, for the most part, I just like went upstairs and then sat in a chair and then ate and then left like i was just like i'm not having any part of this i was just like i'm not i gotta bring robin i need to bring you to the family events it'll always it, it, spice thing up because they're very they're very traditional baptists and very oh, yeah. very that would be i'd rather not <laughs> No, it would it would spice things up. With them, you either got to bring a black guy or a, a gay person to the event. And then it'll, it'll get the conversation going. There might be some hot goss. Might yeah, my dad, uh, my, my dad drank some Jack Daniels, I guess, at some point. So I, I remember at one, one point I was sitting at the table, and all I hear from the other room is like, you know, I don't get how they keep their their uh, their hair under their helmets. I mean, it's always so nappy. And I'm just like, all right, I fucking, I don't want to, I don't want to deal with this. Oh my god! So like, you, you were aggravated by your uh, your your relatives' uh, casual racism. I, I take it. <laughs> yeah, I can just hear it in the other room. I'm just, I heard it in the other room, and I just give my brother a look, and I'm just like, yeah, we're let's not let's not deal with this one. <laughs> Well, it's good to know I'm not the only one that deals with it every year. I think everyone deals with it. Mm. I went up, I ate, I helped clean because you know my my dad made sure to make uh, to to tell everyone that the kitchen is a woman's job. And uh, oh, well, he got that oh my part God. right at least. <laughs> so it was me, my mother, and then my uh, my sister's mother were just cleaning the kitchen. Oh, I bet that was a ton of fun. Barrel laughs. Ugh. Well, that's really shitty. I mean, it probably <laughs> it probably took you back to your natural instincts. I would imagine. Yep, it's where I belong. You know. It's just like a man being in a garage. It's like it's the it's the natural environment. Wait, yeah. I, I wonder why. Like, the, I wonder why the holiday season has devolved into like so much infighting like it, it used to well it used to always be like this but it used to i guess maybe you, you would only hear about like uh food fights in the middle of uh in the middle of dinner because you knew like john and jane down the road uh were dysfunctional as shit and you know she's been che uh, cheating with steve and darcy down the road over there you know, she's a degenerate, those degenerate swingers, and you you would hear about, like, some of these weird fucking stories in your little neighborhood, depending on where you lived, but it, it, it's sort of like as we've advanced as a species, or as maybe it's just t plain time went on, it's like we just keep uh, fighting and fighting and fighting. It's like it's it's almost gotten worse. Like, a lot, I know... A, I mean, I think it's always been bad. I think people are just now talking about it. That okay, so you, you think it's sort of the product of the internet age, then? Yeah, I think that's that's a big part of it. Like, you know, because you would you would talk to like maybe your buddies about like, oh, you know, Thanksgiving was kind of a shit show and this and that, but you wouldn't like, you know, tell everyone about how bad it was. Like, if you know some uh, some, some well, friends you weren't super close to asked, you'd be like, yeah, Thanksgiving was great, no problems. But then your your actual friends would ask, and you'd be like, yeah, it was just kind of shitty. Like. It's just kind of not fun. And, and you know, th there's nothing like trying to eat some of your fucking turkey without one of your uncles or one of your relatives going, you know that Obama didn't have his birth certificate and he's an illegal alien. I'm like, fuck, dude. Yeah. Like, where's Obama? Oh, those conversations. Obama and his fun. transvestite wife. Oh, my God. 
I love that one. That's the most Dude, it, it's, one. it was born out of a real unfortunate, like, really just shitty picture where her dress was just sort of, like, bundled up there. And you know it's just that. But they want to act like the bulge yeah. is a cock. Well, yeah, it's like windy or something. When I, when I went over this one with my uh, uncle, he, the video he showed me was, like, her on Ellen in, like, white suit pants. No. And she's dancing, and there's something in her pants going up and down. And he thinks that that's a penis, but I, I believe it's probably just a fabric bunch. <laughs> Wow, yeah, yeah, really dude, I have no... And that's all that's in my pants, either. It's just a fabric bunch. Yeah, like... Uh... <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna touch that, so, you know, like, so... so. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna touch the fabric bunch in Robin's pants? <laughs> okay, I wasn't bunch. thinking about touching the fabric bunch in Robin's pants, you freaks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Riley, how was your Thanksgiving, you, you, you fucking de you degenerate scum? All right, I have a I have a couple tales to read. Oh, for you. good, regale us with tales of the holiday season. <laughs> Tale number one, Thanksgiving, twenty nineteen. We good tale. Yeah, man, it's fucking it great. I love the shit out of it. I remember it. It was it was like a week <laughs> yeah, ago. Yeah, man, it was all yeah. It was like you know six seven days. Yeah, a week ago. Yeah. It, was, it felt like it was almost yesterday. Yeah, but just like, Jeez, but plus six more days on top of that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. The day before Thanksgiving. Which was six days ago. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, Bo. I think it's Seven. eight days ago. Oh, it, I cannot into math. Just fuck shit, please. <laughs> <Tell the, laughs> Regale us with the holiday tales. <laughs> okay, fine. For Thanksgiving, I go and stay at my at my lovely old grandmother's house. I arrive there the day before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving dinner is relatively small. Literally just me, my grandmother, my grandmother's husband. My grandfather passed in 2013 and she remarried. And for her. My grand my grandmother's husband's sister. That's the that's the Thanksgiving roster. Okay, good, good. I'm hyped already. Small Thanksgiving, don't have to deal with a bunch of family, but me and my grandmother did not get along in the span of three days in which I was at her house very well. Riley, you pudgy little fucker, get over here and give me the goddamn hams, <laughs> yams. We, we usually get along fine, but this time we were at each other's throats for some reason. The, um... The first weird how fight, long I don't has even know. She known, how long has she known you were a furry? <laughs> I ain't no furry. Don't even imply that shit. I ain't no when furry. When did she find boy. out you were a monkey fan? What? When did she find out you were a monkey fan? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a reason. I mean, you didn't show up to your family with your tail in, did you? God damn it. I showed up with my monkey mask on. A full person. Christ. Wait, did, did you did, did you actually do that? No. I, I, mean, I don't understand you kids today. So, you know, like, I, I just assume that... I don't own a monkey oh, mask. That was a, that's the other Riley. Oh, okay. Wait. I know that ASC Riley had... Oh, okay. <laughs> We ha we have like two different Rileys. Not who... all Rileys, not all Rileys look the same. You racist. Well, my bad, my bad. I'm I'm sorry. I'll apologize anyway, to the, the king of your fight... people later on, the John C. Riley. Yeah, the Rileyans are very offensive. No, they are a proud God. Riley race. Anyway, go ahead. So the first fight, probably mostly my fault, but it's still like. Dumb. Now, oh, well, let me interject real quick. What makes you think it was kind of your fault? Because <laughs> it's not a fight that needed to happen, and I kind of instigated it. Oh, my it. God. All right, what what what, what was um, it over? It was, um, I was sleeping on a couch. That was where I was sleeping. And my grandmother wanted to put a sheet on this couch. And I didn't want a sheet on that couch. 
<laughs> and we argued about it for like 10 minutes. Go put a shit on the fucking couch, Grandma! That was pretty much like <laughs> essentially what you were doing? No, I just kept asking like, what? why do you need to put a sheet down? And then she wouldn't answer me. She just kept saying, just leave me alone. Just let me put the sheet on. I'm like, no, I, I want to know. Why? And, I'm with your grandma on this one. Yeah, you should have just let it go. You should have recognized... Her house. You should have recognized an argument when you saw it. But, you know, for, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. I just wanted her to answer one simple question. It's... Next time, I'll tell you what to tell her, okay? Next time you have the <laughs> argument over the couch, you say, Grandma, the next time you say I'm sweeping on that couch, you'll be sweeping in a home. And then you what point the... directly <laughs> at her face. Oh, my God. That won't work. I guarantee you. Uh, whenever an old person pisses you off, you just yell about them ruining the economy. And then it just <laughs> You fucking boomers. <laughs> Alright, sorry, we interrupted your story. Alright, well, you had us at sheets, and then? So yeah, that's basically it. We fought for ten minutes, she put the sheet down, because I, I could never win a fight with my grandmother, obviously. <laughs> I mean, it's your grandma, and you kind of can't. The second, the second thing, actually. This is not really a fight, but it's like, Something that apparently my grandmother told me about. On an unrelated about note, <laughs> on an unrelated note, Riley, you did say she, and I, I did see an old lady in a bed sheet, and she'd burning a cross on <laughs> oh my house. It was really <laughs> weird. I, I don't know if that was your grandma or anything, but I thought I would let you know. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. So, go ahead, go ahead. CJ, what the fuck? This, <laughs> this situation comes on Thanksgiving Day. Oh, okay. At about 2 p.m. Yeah, you've already got the tension from uh, from, from Sheet Gate uh, 29 Thanksgiving, pre-19, <laughs> pre-Thanksgiving. So. So. Give a sheet to show that you care, everybody. Of course. So. Mm. Bad pun. It's 2 p.m. on Thanksgiving. We had eaten breakfast at like 10 o'clock. And this turkey's cooking. And old Riley is very hungry. And his tummy does not like that it does not have food in it. So he just wants like a piece of fruit, said some chips, something. Something to consume in order to make me not suffer. So I come downstairs. And my grandmother is taking a bath, so I just sit down on the couch and start waiting for my grandmother to get is, out of the is bath. Is this the one with the sheet on it? <laughs> the bath with the sheet on it? No, this is the couch with the sheet on it. You sat on the couch, No, right? no, no, different couch. Different while, couch. We're, oh, okay, okay. While, we're catch, while we're catching up on the details, did you, Riley, a grown man, just refer to your stomach as a tummy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's not a grown man. Fuck you! So. I'm not a grown man. I'm 17. I have a, I have a couple more months left to say tummy. He's only 17. He's good enough for me. And then James Franco. Well, then James I got Franco news comes for you. <laughs> I got news for you. You're, you're not an adult yet. That means you're still good enough for Drake. Let's continue. Okay. So anyway. <laughs> So I'm sitting on the couch, and my grandmother's husband and his si and his sister start talking, and they start talking about me. And my grandmother's husband says that he probably came down for food, but he's not getting any. And I'm like, it, "Excuse me." Did you tell him that you had the? <laughs> did you tell him about the rumbling in your tumbling? <laughs> I don't remember, but I know that. That interaction when I did not get food, but then Grandma gets out of the tub, gets dressed. You call says, her Grandma, right? You don't call her like Gram Gram or Gram Gram. Gram Gram. Gram. I actually call her Nana most All right. times. That's Na what she Nana is acceptable. Nana, yeah. that's a good one. Uh, my a uh, large part of my family is our Polacks, so we would say it. So. Nana gets dressed, 
and comes out and she says i can have a rice cake with peanut butter on it and that's i'm, I'm perfectly satisfied with that but first we're gonna go out and go for a walk which is fine and i go outside and of course i spend like 20 minutes standing outside because grandma's never ready when she's supposed to be ready and while I'm standing outside... Oh, wait, wait, I'm sorry. I know I'm interrupting a lot. What is a walk? I've never heard of that. <laughs> oh, no! No, you just stand up Come with on, your two feet. That's so offensive. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's sensitive prick. CJ, I believe for you it would be referred to as a wheel. Or a roll. Oh, uh, right. Go for all a roll. Right. I got you. Oh, I got you. Go for a roll. Dude, if so, I had to go wheelchair, I'd make a fucking badass fucking, like, curve ramp. So it'd be kind of like, you know, running down a fucking, like, little, uh, 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 fucking slide, like when you were a kid. You know what's the best about being in a wheelchair these days? And I never have to wait in a line, man. Chick-fil-A. I can always just cut the line. Oh, man. Yeah, dude, there, there are some definite advantages for being, like, you know, in a wheelchair. Try telling them you're gay and they won't let you cut the line anymore. No, actually, they, they are like, they they, uh, they walked all that stuff back. They're no longer going to be, quote-unquote, giving money to any uh, organizations that uh, have harmful speech or, or whatever toward homosexuals or the LGBT community. Oh, well, and you know what's funny about Chick-fil-A is it's in my school building. And it's the only part of the building that has the gay flag on it. <laughs> uh, uh, so I, 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 I'm assuming that they put it there exclusively for decoration, then? I, I would have to imagine. It's got the, <laughs> oh uh, it's got the I have a dream, and then right next to that is the alphabet gang flag. And, and then the, the Chick-fil-A? Yeah, and then the Chick-fil-A logo. Oh, God. Do, do you like? Do you occasionally see people like walking in and out on fire? No, no. Uh, I think there was a protest a years back, but they were all angry lesbians. So no <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all right, all right. E -e -e enough, 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 enough. See, we're talking about politics during a holiday fucking podcast. That's that's they're okay, they're bullying. Yeah, all right, all right, with, okay, okay. Come on with the oh, Yeah, that, that was my bad because I started talking about what I wanted with a fucking wheelchair and, like, you know, me just being fucking art hard. But anyway, so. I have a whole fucking Christmas story. Uh, to yeah, so, this like, like 20 me. minutes outside, Gam Gam's not ready yet. And go. Yep, and as I'm standing out there, I hear my grandmother's husband repeat the, repeat the phrase. Riley wins again. And I find this extremely entertaining because, like, I, I did not know I was in some intense battle to win the right to eat a fucking rice cake because I'm dying of hunger, smelling turkey on the fucking air, just wanting to eat something. Yeah, for us fat... For the turkey that's... Yeah, for us fatties, man, like Thanksgiving and Christmas or, like, your birthday... It's like fucking Duel of the Fates playing in your stomach. Da, 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 da. Ra, ra, Editor, this ra, would ra, be ra. the time. Editor, this would be the time to enter some Sarah McLaughlin music. Why would you? Why would I put Sarah McLaughlin music in there? <laughs> in the arms <laughs> of the man, angel. I was thinking fucking Star Wars, man. Uh, like you know something like you know no, sort of no, epic. This sounds like this sounds like just like those kids in Ethiopia that are hungry. Is, yeah, well, oh, too no. bad. All right, we live in a first world country. We're talking about first world stuff. <laughs> Send some rice cakes to Ethiopia. In the air, every, dollar you donate, sure. every dollar you donate, Riley gets a uh, rice cake with peanut butter. Riley getting <laughs> rice cake with peanut butter. <laughs> so, anyway. So we go on the walk, and I am I finding this extremely comedic. I repeat the phrase, Riley wins again, to my grandmother. Because <laughs> it's so fucking funny. And she doesn't say anything at the time, but apparently she was pretty upset because she told my mom about it. And my mom was not happy. Well, what was she upset about, and to, for, uh, toward who? 
She was upset that I was mocking her husband, who was saying that I win again because I get to eat a fucking rice cake. It, that's more of like a his problem, not yours, though. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. So what happened after, you know, rice rice cake gate with peanut butter? Because <laughs> everything's got to be a gate, um, we, right? The end of the story is that... Wait, 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 can I make a prediction? <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead, right. CJ. Your stepsister is stuck in the washroom. Oh, no. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Uh, all right. You see, the problem with that one is that I don't have a stepsister. <laughs> well, who the fuck uh, is this bitch? <laughs> anyway. And if I did, if I did, I don't think she'd be at all interested in me. All right, all right. So, so anyway, anyway, uh, the the end of the story. <laughs> the first time for everything. The end of the end of the Thanksgiving 2019 story is the turkey gets get takes an hour more to get ready than it should have. So, gladly I did eat that rice cake. And also, it takes us like forty minutes to prep the dinner table, so all the food is like lukewarm instead of. Oh, hot. I hate that shit. <laughs> and it was fine. It was good. It, of course, it's good. It's Thanksgiving dinner. It could have been better, but it was you good. And that's the, the end. Dinner table or week? No, you, you set the dinner table before the dinner is. So like that's what my mom did. No, that's fucking stupid. Just. Get a big pile of plates and put them next to the food, and people just go fucking sit at the table. Don't does anybody it. have? Uh, does anybody have that one family member that insists to tell you that Thanksgiving is not a real holiday because it's based on genocide? No, yada, yada, no, yada. because I live in Texas. Thank God, the, the leftist fucking, to, well, not leftist, I guess. Maybe uh, to be more fair, the the college idiot idiocy has. I really... call them blowhards. That's what I usually call you know, them. Like, uh, like because everyone already grew up knowing that Columbus was not the first to uh, to discover America. I mean, my, what do you mean? Whoa, well, whoa. My, my you're telling my me, school. You're telling me, given everybody AIDS that lives there, then then they all die, and you're the only one left. That's not discovering a land. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused. Man, now I know what it's like. Now I know what it's like to podcast with me because I'm usually the interrupter, not the interruptee. Shh. Okay, I don't know what AIDS <laughs> and Thanksgiving have to do and discovering America have to do with each other. <laughs> but and plus, Columbus, <laughs> Columbus yeah, took them as slaves. Yeah, yeah, AIDS. yeah. That's, that's, that's Columbus took connection. slaves. Yeah. Uh, you know, get, he gave and them them to cut their tongues out. Yeah, it, it was. Re- the turkey gave me AIDS. It, it was because somebody. It was really fucked. Cause somebody, but like somebody who had AIDS fucked the turkey. Like that seems. Okay, you're still talking about AIDS and and Thanksgiving and turkeys. Like, what? Why are we talking about AIDS and Thanksgiving? (laughs) It has nothing. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Big Mouth. I'm not a pedophile. Oh my god, the fucking discussions about Big Mouth. Thanksgiving is hosted by Magic Johnson. That's why we're talking about Magic Johnson. How the hell did you get inside my turkey? He's got ways of getting inside of things, believe me. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. God, big... So, anyway, anyway. Anyway. Oh, there's not... Okay, people. okay, okay. So, yeah. Turkey turkey dinner's fine. I go home the next day, four hours late. I was supposed to... Um, My mother was not there for this Thanksgiving. I was supposed to go to a separate place with my mother Thanksgiving night, but that did not pan out, and I did not see my mother until, like, 4 p.m. the next day. Oh, but Marino, Navarino. <laughs> what? Yeah, and that's the end of that story. So now, now for the Christmas story you've all been waiting for. Oh, okay. We have a Christmas stories. Yes, this is um, this is the days of younger Riley, the days of a small Riley. This is Christmas um. Jeffrey, I've seen the stories for you, buddy. <laughs> Christmas two thousand nine, I believe. Probably two thousand nine, maybe a little bit later. But here we are. Christmas 2009, little uh, seven-year-old Riley is... Yeah, you're, you're doing an awfully huge build-up to your Christmas story, so I really hope it's good. Little seven-year-old Riley is just having having the time of his life, enjoying the company of his family that he loves, because he doesn't understand that they're horrible yet. <laughs> oh. And he's just 
He's eating the candy that they left out in the fucking candy trays. He's having a good old time. And that's when you found out your dad was gay. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, anyway, go ahead. Keep going. Like, we're at the 47-minute mark. So, little O'Reilly, it comes time to open presents. This is actually Christmas Eve night, because we, uh, we have a tradition with Christmas present opening, is that back when I was a youngin' and Santa was a factor in the Christmas present giving, they didn't want Santa to take all the credit, of course. So, like, Christmas Eve night was when I would get gifts from all of my family members. And then Christmas morning... Christmas morning, I get gifts from Santa, quote-unquote. Well, I'm sorry to interrupt, but what do you mean Santa's not a factor anymore? <laughs> you see, Robin, I, I, are you sitting down? I have some news. Uh, what's the news? <laughs> Santa's not real. Santa's definitely real. <laughs> it took me I, don't know who this, I don't know who me. that Santa guy is. But what I do on Christmas Eve is I leave out cookies for Michael Jackson. <laughs> and then he See, we all know Santa. Santa, Santa Cuck, the the writer of uh, the Cuck's Carol's Christmas album. Oh, be careful. You don't want to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> I think that word might cost me $20 billion. $500 million. <laughs> Half a million dollars. <laughs> hey, alright, alright, alright. All right. Are we going to get... Is the MoCast going to get sued uh, Well, he ain't going to get anything. I ain't showing up at court, and I'm going to mock him relentlessly every minute of every day. This is the MoCast Ho-Ho edition. Ho-Ho-Ho. Oh, oh, oh. Or maybe since I have Jabba as an avatar, it's more Ho-Ho-Ho. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, a little Definitely O'Reilly. sponsored little O'Reilly. by Hostess. Let's talk to Yes, yeah, sponsored Let's by Hostess. About... Num, 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 num. Anyway, Riley, go ahead. Let's talk a little bit more about seven-year-old Riley, Christmas Eve night. I um, It comes time to start receiving my gifts. The, my favorite time, Christmas, Christmas, get some gifts, have a grand old time. And I start to open gifts, and I notice, I notice an anomaly in some of my gifts. In the force? <laughs> yes, in the force. Oh. I received some... Uh, Nintendo Wii video games. Now, what is strange about this is that the only game console I had owned at this time was a PlayStation 2, and I did not own a Nintendo Wii. So, I start to open my gifts, I receive Wii games, and I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? I don't have a fucking Wii. I have those words exactly are what seven-year-old Robin said, of course. So I open up some gifts. I don't remember the other shit I got. Probably lame ass clothes and shit. But I got like four Wii games. And little Riley was I think less upset and more confused. Like I don't think it registered that like did Riddle, fucking... did, hang on, did Widow Riley did he do the clap that Brett Favre did? <laughs> When uh, Kaylin Jenner got that FC award and it looked like he was washing his hands. Did Probably. you do that? Most likely. <laughs> it took That's me a second to remember to... exactly what clap you're talking about. <laughs> it, it was like. Yeah, the Brett Favre. Yeah, it's the. the wipe your hand, Brett Favre. Yeah, uh, uh, Brett. fucking Brett Favre, goddamn. My favorite. Hey, hey, anyway, anyway, <laughs> Riley, go <laughs> ahead. So you, you basically got in the presence, so little, right? Yeah, so little Riley is questioning all of his all of his family members. What, what What's going on? I don't have a Wii. Why are you guys buying me Wii games? Come on If you now. go down to the Blockbuster video, you can go and rent a Wii. <laughs> that, I could have done that. Were they still around in 2009? When did they close? Definitely not. That's right, you're a, not. you're a zoomer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, it, uh, uh, the night continues, and I get I get told to come into my <laughs> grandmother's bedroom. <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? <laughs> what the fuck was yeah, that? what the fuck was that? Didn't that? Did that come from you, Riley? 
Are you letting oh, air out? Do you have like a little me. spigot where like, you know, your grandma or something has to blow into <laughs> for like air to keep you inflated? Are, are you like one of no. those like monsters or like creatures from like that second Wizard of Oz movie? No, I'm good. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow at nine. Yep, I'll see you tomorrow. Right. We'll see you tomorrow, CJ. Yeah, see, see, Wait, see you tomorrow, tomorrow CJ. <laughs> Later. So, little Riley is led to his grandmother's bedroom, in which he is instructed to look under the bed. Now, if you guys had to guess what was under that bed, what would you guess? Uh, A dead yeah, body. your mom's vibrators. <laughs> A bad dragon. <laughs> bad dragon was around um, 2009, so this is technically like a viable uh, uh, guess. Back uh, exactly. My uh, my grandmother gave me a bad dragon for Christmas. Uh, <laughs> Explains a lot. No, but seriously, I, I I peek under this bed, and what I find what I find is a uh, the drum roll, please. Somebody can be a drum roll. <laughs> a Nintendo Wii. Ta -da! Yay! <laughs> Lil Riley got a Wii. That was a really good moment. Wee, wee, I wee. I love I obtained the Wii. I loved the Wii to death. It was the Wii brings some of my best childhood memories. It all started on that Christmas night when I was pissed off because I got Wii games and I didn't have a Wii, but it turns out I did have a Wii. Like this is like when you didn't know that your parents were capable of tricking you. It's like, what do you mean? This I have no Wii. I have no Nintendo Wii. Where is this Wii coming from? Yeah, As, why are you guys buying me Wii games? Why you just assume I have a Wii? As my great grandfather once said, the leprechaun from the Lucky Charms commercials. Let me put my Wii bit in your tit tit. Cripple Jesus! Oh, no. Crackle pop. Right, CJ, I swear to God. Gonna choke Snap, you. crackle, pop. Uh. Snap, crackle, pop. No more rice cream. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Here, here. It's my turn. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I have two short stories because we are at the 55 minute mark. It's been a really good one. I like this episode. Good job, guys. Don't we have to talk about Bethesda? No, we're not talking about Bethesda. No, like this is actually the better, uh, uh, the better topic actually. Because as soon as like Cripple started talking, I was like, I knew this is probably going to be what the episode was going to be about. You know, I really love Fallout New Vegas. It's one of my favorite. You know, Fallout games of New all time. Vegas is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I got it at Christmas time one time. It was a gift. It was really nice. I'm, uh, I'm playing Fallout 4 right now, and I'm enjoying it. I also like Fallout 4. Yeah. Okay, so Thanksgiving. So this is what I did for Thanksgiving this year. Uh, so the fucking water pump out in the country property that I live on, it went straight the fuck out, just shat the bed in all sorts of ways, right? So we had to bring uh, 300, uh, it was, uh, not 300, it was 185 feet worth of, uh, iron or lead pipe out of the old fucking well. And it was, it took us four and a half hours to unscrew or, or to cap everything. It, it fucking sucked hard and out loud. So anyway, we did all that. And then you had to lay a bunch of pipe. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally laid pipe for like a solid week. Uh, uh, 180 fucking feet worth of, uh, of pipe every single, almost every day last week. Well, about three times because we got rained out and all that stuff. But anyway, yada, yada, yada. Uh, it was a, such a bitch. And, and it, we finally got, we, we got the first one, uh, the, the new pump, and it burnt out on us in like a day because something happened to it. Like it just didn't agree with the, the wiring or whatever. And then we had to re-fucking dig up everything and pull the shit fucking right out. And ultimately, we ended up having to buy a new fucking water filter. Uh, and we finally got it. We primed it correctly. We did everything that we were supposed to do with the fucking thing that we should have done in the first place. It would save us two fucking times. But, you know, third time's a charm. And so we finally... That reminds me of that time when I was at the pool with Joe Biden. 
trying to get these black kids to look at his hair. Yeah, he kept fucking trying to sniff my sister's hair. It was fucking weird. Really weird. Yeah. He kept going on and on about how this little black kid named Crack Pop told him that he liked his blonde hair. It was oh. really strange. I'm good. Then he bit his wife. Finger. That was fucking weird, man. That was really like you know, like the, the, too too old, too old. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end that. The yeah, you know, we we finally I spent my Thanksgiving day uh, finishing up the project, and lo and behold, we got decent water pressure, and now I don't live in the third world fucking country in America. God knows that the internet is shitty. I don't need our water pressure to be shitty as well. But uh, yeah, we we had a. We had a good old time this uh, this year. We had like all the trimmings and fixings and stuff. Uh, we didn't want to choke each other out like I thought was going to happen because it's a pain in the ass to work with my brothers and me and my dad. We just don't. Family doesn't work very well with family, and uh, you know, like Sam looked like he was about to choke out my dad like twice over like some little comment with the pipes, and it was just. I'm so glad it's done. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, well, it's so glad he can stop laying pipe. Yes, I'm so done with laying pipe. I laid too much pipe this Thanksgiving. <laughs> too much pipe. Anyway, uh, Cripple Jesus, <laughs> fucking final thoughts, buddy. What do you, well, what do you think your Christmas is going to be like this year? Well, I'm going for money. So in uh, closing terms, uh, fuck bitches, get money. Fucking a, fucking a. Robin, closing terms, final thoughts. Yeah, I think the the holidays are like they're bad, but they're not always. Oh, hold on a sec, Riley. What are you doing? Are you like clacking something <laughs> in the background? It sounds like a really. Shit, did I not mute myself? No. Did I not mute myself? No, was... no, you didn't. It's was... the bad dragon he got. I was <laughs> I was stirring apple cider. <laughs> oh my god! I swear, to God, kid. <laughs> All right, mute yourself, and we'll start over with Robin before the weird clacking noise started. How festive was oh, that, very Exceedingly boy. festive. Anyway, Robin, go ahead. Yeah, I think I think the holidays, they're bad, but they're not, like, as bad as, you know, is is it as it's made out to be, you know? I think I uh, a, lot, a lot of people over-exaggerate. Uh, God yeah, damn that's, you. that's about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm hoping... They're not as bad as it's always made it's, out to be online. To be honest, man, it's a lot better than fucking in the middle of the goddamn summertime when everything sucks and it's so hot for, like, months on end. I, I like the holiday season, even though it's, a, uh, it can be, uh, tumultuous, tumultuous, am I saying no, tumultuous? You know, I probably not even the, tumultuous. tumultuous. No, I don't know why I can't say, even though it can be a pain in the ass. I still prefer end of the year. I, I love the end of the year more than I like the beginning of the year. Because, like, the beginning of the year is when my birthday happens, and it's just, like, you, you see, like, winter settling in finally and just driving everyone fucking ape shit and seasonal depression everywhere. Uh, but, Riley, what are your final thoughts, man? I just had to dump out my apple cider because my mom's coffee maker is horrible and there's coffee grounds in my apple cider. Well, good job. Good job, buddy. Good job. <laughs> Before we sign <laughs> off, I want to thank our great sponsor at Hostess. Yes, Hostess. Delicious. Num, num, num. Put ding dong straight into my mouth. That cream just, uh, just insert them directly. That goes all over my face. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. All right, everyone. This has been the MoCast. Welcome back, everyone, and uh, we'll see y'all next week. I, You know, I have no idea what we're going to talk about, but I'm sure we'll get to it eventually. You want to do the You want to do the episode where I pop my Star Wars cherry next week? Uh, if, you know, if we have time, sure, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> anyway, see you around, okay. everyone. Ta-ta. Okay. Bye. Bye.